Okay, guys, what I have here is a tray of sand, and we're going to model some of the features or, or ways that glaciers affect the landscape. So the first thing we need to know about glaciers as they affect the landscape is to think about how, <clears throat> how they react when they come in contact with rock, dirt, sediments, um, but also you know all the stuff that's on the ground. So first of all, I've made here a model of a glacier. It's just a large piece of ice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that piece of ice in the sand, like so. And as that piece of ice is sitting in the sand, you will notice after I pick it up that the bottom of that piece of ice is now covered with sand, which is kind of a big deal and important because that sand, just like any sand in water or in wind, can abrade the surface of the earth. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that that can work. So I've replaced my mini sandbox with a piece of styrofoam. It's a piece of black styrofoam. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my mini glacier that I have that have all these has all of the sediment on the bottom of it. I'm basically just going to run it across the surface of that styrofoam. Now I'm going to pause that for a second because there's lots of sediments in the way. So I've washed off this, the, uh, the sand and stuff that was there. And you can see now that the styrofoam has been scratched and scraped and abraded by the pieces of sand that were pressured underneath the glacier. And that um, is going to obviously change the surface of the earth. It's going to scratch and break apart the rock that it slides across. OK, so now I've got my little sandbox back. And I've created some mountains. And obviously, these mountains are made out of sand. They're not made out of rock. So it's a little bit different. Um, but as glaciers move down through valleys and mountains, um, they actually can affect the surface of the rock pretty substantially. I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to put my glacier here. And I'm just going to move it forward. Obviously, this is not exactly how a glacier moving works. But as it moves through the valley, it sort of pushes through. And you can see, hopefully, that the valley has changed. This area here has gotten wider. We're going to talk about this, and we're going to remodel this uh, in a few days. But for right now, hey, Charlotte, how are you? In a few days, we're going to show what this valley is called. It's a new type of valley. But basically here, we see that the, the rock, that the glacier moved through the valley, and it made the valley wider. That widening is caused by weathering and erosion by the, the sheer weight of that glacier cracking and picking up and pushing the rocks. Now, as glaciers move down the hill, they pick up lots and lots of sediment, and the sediments get stuck to the bottom and get moved from one place to the other. Sediments, rocks, even things that are as large as like boulders can get picked up by glaciers. Because remember, glaciers can be hundreds of meters, if not thousands of meters thick, even miles thick. And so they can pick up lots of things that you would think look enormous and that I would think look enormous, but are actually quite tiny compared to the glacier. So I've got a model glacier here, and you can see I've frozen inside of it some of the sediments that would have been stuck to the bottom. And we obviously saw that the, the glacier moved down the hill, and it moved down the hill, and it moved some of the, the red sediments and the rocks. And as it does that, it eventually ends up sort of at the bottom of the mountain. Now, eventually, glaciers, the, the earth warms, and glaciers melt. And when the glaciers melt, we're going to see what happens when the glacier has moved to the to the end to the out of the mountains and out of the valleys, um, and we're going to see what happens there after it melts. So I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to stop this video. We're going to uh, make a new one in a little while. I'm going to see what happens after this uh, after my glacier has melted. <laughs> 